If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, Little House on the Road subscribers and followers. There's no internet. Well, I have discovered I'm not the um, rough and tough, minimalist, can live without technology uh, person that I thought I was. I don't know. Until I started this adventure, I wasn't even on Facebook. Um, I didn't even get on YouTube until about two years ago. About five years ago was the first time I ever had high-speed internet. I had dial-up forever, uh, as far back as I can remember, you know, back in the 90s. So, you know, I was not big in the internet, but uh, getting on this adventure, I realized that internet has become part of the normal part of life, and that I'm going to have to figure out what to do about it when I don't have it. Now, I've documented before where you can get inter internet when you don't have it and I'll put that link right up here um, but on-demand internet being able to just get on the computer and and do something we don't have um, in order and I, we haven't had it for about uh, three weeks now when we were in Kentucky we were in this you know valley but it was more like a bowl there was mountainous terrain uh, all around us and here in uh, Virginia we have learned that in the mountain areas they do have internet or cell phone signals not in this location but about two miles away there's internet uh, and, and cell phone service but we have learned that in the mountainous areas of West Virginia and Virginia cell phone providers uh, meter the the, the the, the internet the the data they meter it and I guess they do it during times of days or whatever so uh, and it was really interesting when we got here Google Maps was taken had taken us all the way to this location and then uh, w without a signal interruption so we set up and we got on the internet and nothing we didn't have anything well we started to drive back to town because we knew we had internet at least out there nothing 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 we kept driving and driving finally we got went I think uh, about 30 miles and finally we had something it just wasn't there and then it was there we turned around come back to the camper and we had internet until about two miles so uh, we now know that at least in the Virginia, West Virginia mountainous areas, they meter it. Anyway, all that aside, why is it so important that we have internet? Well, for us, obviously, we try to maintain a YouTube channel. And as you probably have noticed, at least a lot of you have noticed, um, I'm not online quite as much. I'm still trying to answer everybody's questions. I'm not ignoring you. It's just harder to get internet here. But let's just say YouTube was not an, not an issue let's say that we just needed internet uh, why do we need internet well the big ones are I have no idea what the weather is like I don't know if there's any storms coming and living in a pop-up I need that information so when we go to town I gotta remember oh I need to check the weather if a pop-up storm just happened to hit us we uh, you know, we could be in some serious trouble. We'd have to react pretty fast. Um, the other thing is, is what we've noticed is we like to research things. Animal life. Uh, you know, there's bears in this area. Curious if we could research when was last sighting in this area. Um, we like to find out what our no next location is going to be like. So, you know, well, we spent quite a bit of time looking for uh, different internet sites, free campsite.net, Campadium, COE websites, uh, uh, National Forest websites. We spent a lot of time on those websites checking out where we're going to stay next. 
figuring out how far away it is, how far away these campsites are from a, 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 a town uh, that has a Walmart or something. Does it have water? So there are a lot of reasons outside of social network that we really could use internet. So I'm just making everybody aware that um, when you're out here on this lifestyle, internet does become a, a, a thing that you really have to have. It's hard to live without it for an extended period of time. Um, now, we have learned how to try to adapt around it. We're making lists of things that we want to research when we go to town. That way, we minimize the amount of time we got to spend in the truck researching things. I also have discovered that there is a website that tells you what areas have internet. So if you just Google AT&T uh, cell service in whatever area, it gives you a map. It's pretty handy. It gave us a map said this area had cell service. Be aware that internet can be an issue. I have noticed that a lot of the people on YouTube make this a regular conversation piece in their YouTube videos. Lack of internet. Uh, you know, there's devices you can buy. My truck actually picks up a signal a lot sooner than my cell phone because, you know, it's got the antenna and everything. So, you know, if you're using a device like WeBoost, that might help. Uh, but anyway, uh, be aware that internet is going to be an issue. No matter how much you tell yourself, oh, I can live without internet, it's very difficult to live without internet. Uh, you know, Carolyn, she's never online. But also now she's online, you know, she, she, she's not having withdrawals from it, but definitely wanting the ability to have internet. So, uh, anyway... Just a little word of advice from this guy. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click like if you like the video. And happy travels.